Good afternoon. Um, we are here with Bethany and Rico, who just got rid of your home. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are both, you're welcome. You're both teachers at Babcock Neighborhood School. Te uh, Bethany, you teach history, and Rico, you teach math. Yes, sir. Tell other teachers who, a lot of them have to sell a home to buy a home, or just need to get rid of the home that they're currently in. What would you tell them about the process that you experience with, in essence, teachers can buy homes selling your home? Well, our, our friends used Ed to help us sell the home, uh, to help them sell their home and buy their new home. And they kept telling us, hey, you gotta check out this guy, he really knows what he's doing, made it nice and easy. Uh, I remember when I called Ed on a Friday night, we got to chatting, he seemed really knowledgeable, then he came out to the house, and we really knew that that was the way to go. He knows his research, he knows his marketing, and it made us feel really comfortable that we weren't going to have to do a whole <laughs> lot of work, that he was actually going to do um, what he said he was going to do. It was nice to have a realtor that this was his main gig, and he was going to invest everything he had in it like it was selling his own home. Oh, perfect. Thank you for those words. Um, a lot of people think that um, you have to stage a home, hire interior decorators or designers. Um, I always say, I don't want you spending a dime, <laughs> you know, if you, unless you have to. Was there a lot of expense to get your home stage ready and model ready perfect? I think we bought some light bulbs. LEDs. <laughs> and looked at a checklist and, and Ed set out a checklist, hey I need you to do this, this and this and then make it bright and that that's all it took. Awesome. And then how the picture, you end up seeing the pictures on Zillow, what did you think of those? So I have been telling people all over the place, as you will not believe what he was able to do with his ideas and his software to make the house just look um, uh, remarkable. We had comments from all over the country about how beautiful the house looked oh, really? online and uh, it really had us be able to take a lot of pride in what we were selling. I've had some people look at the pictures and go like, I don't want to sell my house now, you made my house look so nice. I'm like, <laughs> can't make it look too nice on the pictures. It's got to kind of match what they see. Well, thank you for all that. Um, uh, and then just a quick thing about how the process went from contract to close. Uh, I'm using myself, for example. Well, I, what I really appreciate about it was whenever I had a question, if I sent a text, I either got a text right back or the phone call came. And I never felt like I was being bothersome. Like if there was anything that we needed, uh, it was nice to know that Ed was right there with an answer. And if he didn't have it, he found it quickly. And um, it was really neat that even the problems that we didn't know about, he fixed a lot of those before we even had a chance to worry about them, which was nice. He, he always said, I'd like to come with a solution to the problem before I tell you about and, it. And we had some hurdles and we had some problems pop up, but I always called you with a solution. Yes, this is what happened. Yes, I fixed yep, it. And yep. Make you aware. Awesome. Um, perfect. Um, well, at the end of all this, Teachers Come By Homes always donates money. We've given almost uh, 90 grand back to the school systems. It's what, something I'm passionate about, giving you guys at least some resources to do what you want to do with it. Um, uh, I'm going to take your donation, increase it to what it would have been, and have you each have your own check. Uh, so Bethany, what are you going to do with that money? Um, we are going to be doing a PBL, or a project based on the Holocaust memory, uh, or memorial, and I'm going to have that donated to my kids for books for background knowledge. Awesome. Is there a big fund in the history department for buying books, or is this something you would have to put out of pocket if you wanted um, to do it? This was something I was trying to figure out how to fund um, donors choose or out of my own pocket at this point. So uh, That's one thing I definitely don't want to have, ever have teachers do is anything out of their pocket. And then, uh, Rico, how about your side? With well, for, for, my, for our math department, we're looking for ways to make sure that we have individual licenses for our kids for IXL for their uh, practicing their math skills and in increasing their fluency. So this will go quite uh, a good ways covering, I think it's about 11 bucks a kid to oh, wow. pay for a membership. So this covers a lot of kids for our school for uh, IXL memberships. And who would have to pay that out of pocket? Uh, that would be us. You? Yeah. All right. Well, we don't want to fundraise. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, excellent. Uh, thank you guys both so very much thank and congratulations you. again. Thank you.